Guys, we have so much to talk about, but this is more important. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ashleena. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I'm filming this the day after the morning concert in Pomona. Yes, I am home. I got home late last night dealing with a sinus infection. So God help me, if one of you people I met got me sick, you're in deep trouble. Um, but it's okay. It's fine. It was just not fun being on a plane with a sinus infection. But I was smart enough to buy um, some sinus and cold uh Advil, Tylenol, whatever it was at the airport. And uh, I just didn't care. I was blowing my nose like a demon on the plane. I didn't give two shits. I just felt like shit. And it didn't help that, you know, all that pressure. My ears were getting clogged. My sinuses were getting, oh my God, don't go on a plane if you have a sinus infection. That's all I can say. But anyways, Pomona was so magical, you guys. That concert was everything, and I can't wait to share my concert vlog with you. The goal is to edit it like this weekend, but if anything, I'll get it up as soon as I possibly can. I'm just so excited, but I'm waiting on a lot of you guys to send me pictures or videos that you have from, you know, meeting me or just the barbecue or the show in general, um, but honestly... I think my vlog will be up way before this video on Wednesday, so I hope you enjoy it if you've seen it already. Uh, it was just so magical. It was so good, and they've never sounded better. Like, don't get me wrong, I've seen them live in Toronto, and it was so good, but this blew that out of the water because they were sick in Toronto. So even if they get sick at the end of this month when I see them again, at least I got to see an epic sounding show. Like, absolute perfection. Oh, okay. Let's get into the reason why we're here. So today we're doing Doll Knives acoustic version. It was a Patreon. Oh, sorry. I just scared the shit out of myself. It was a Patreon release. So we're going to check that out today. I believe this is on the Warnings official YouTube channel, which it is. Um, I'm really excited. I love, 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 love watching acoustic versions of the Warning songs because not only do you get to hear kind of how it was made maybe a little bit more simpler before being perfected for an album. I just know it, they're going to sound amazing. Now, this came out April 21st, 2020 on YouTube. So for Patreon, it obviously came out before then. So this was like four years ago, which is crazy. So I'm, I'm so excited to watch this. I am just reading... Um, it says Paulina 17 on piano and second voice Daniela 19 main vocal. 17 and 19 years old. Insanity. Insanity. All right, guys, let's watch this. I'm stoked. Oh, this is cute. It looks like it's at, where are they? Is this at home maybe? But I want to know what that award is on the table. It looks cool. It looks like one of these. So, oh my God, you guys. I'm sorry to do this video while I'm sick too, but obviously Monday's a holiday, so I want to get this to you guys on time for Wednesday. So let's do it. I should mute myself so you don't hear me sniffling.
God. Jesus. Danny's voice, though, you guys. That was incredible. The chills I had and still have from that. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't. You know what? Comparing that to seeing them last night <laughs> is actually insane because Danny sounds the same. I think she's just a powerhouse vocalist who's just so insane at her control and her tone. And I feel like now she's definitely more gritty. She's more, she's got more of a, a Lizzie Hale style, which I love. I love that she's getting more grungy with her voice. But again, you could kind of hear that developing in this video too, which is really cool to see. Her voice is absolutely incredible. I just, I can't even deal with how beautiful her voice is. And I've always said like, you know, Haley Williams was always on my my top list of female vocalists, but her and Danny, man, they, they are literally tied because I can't pick who I love more as a vocalist. I think they're both very unique and I love them both, but what, I, I think someone once asked me if I, uh, could see, you know, a festival and Paramore was playing at the same time as The Warning. Who would you go see? And I'm like, it's a very hard question. But to be fair, if that ever happened in my life, and I'm pretty sure I said The Warning last time, I think I would go to both. I would go watch Paramore first, and then I would go catch the end of The Warning set. It's just really impossible to choose between your favorite bands. And I think that's the only way to do it. And I've seen Paramore live a bunch of times. Um, the, the end of this month will be my third time seeing The Warning. So I guess it would just depend like how far down the line this is of how many shows I've seen of both because obviously Paramore comes to Toronto, you know, every year or whenever they do a tour and I always see them. Um, but The Warning, you know, I haven't seen them a lot. So if I had to choose right now, if that happened, I would choose The Warning. Um, but if this was like years later, I would go to both. It would be hard to choose. <laughs> and it depends if I liked Paramore's new album or not, you know. Um, Paulina, her piano skills are incredible. That song alone on piano without vocals is stunning. It is literally like a piece of Mozart, people. I am obsessed with how it sounds on piano. I think it's gorgeous. Um, and her adding in the harmonies made that sound so delicious to listen to. Vocally, we all know that Paulina and Danny have insane voices, but when you put them together, magical. Even last night with the harmonies on stage, incredible. I, I think that's the best they've ever sounded. Um, and, you know, I've seen a couple of videos of their tours so far and they sound great, but I think because they had some time to rest before the show, it was mind-blowing. I'm really curious if you guys went to the Bellwether show the next night, which was last night, um, how they sounded in comparison if you went to both shows. Because I know a lot of people told me they were going to both shows, which I'm so jealous of. Um, but I had to get back home. So here I am back in the cold country. <laughs> so good. I can't even deal with this. I can't even deal. I think knowing that they release this stuff on Patreon first is such a treat to fans. And I can see why so many of you are patrons to them because you want to see everything before everyone else. And it's exciting to see videos like this, especially when they're not like professionally done. It's just them with a camera in a room with a piano. You know, maybe the acoustics aren't great. Maybe, you know, the piano is not tuned perfectly, but it's just so raw and it's honestly so entertaining to watch because I just picture like me and my sister in the same position and I don't know if I would be that brave enough to sing in front of her but they've been doing this together for so long that they're probably like ah like we gotta go hard or go home kind of thing so it was nice to watch and I'm really glad they chose to put these Patreon videos on YouTube for everyone to see because you know not everyone can afford to be a patron and that's totally fine but it's really nice that they have done these videos on a personal level and have shared them with their fans. And I know during COVID, they did a lot of stuff like this, like live streams and Instagram lives and things like that. The relationship they have with their fans is outstanding. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So talented. It's actually disgusting how talented they are. I'm like mind blown. I think sometimes I forget that they're all 
classically trained on piano. But just hearing that song on piano just puts into perspective how good they are musically. Like, they're so talented. Guys, I don't know. Let me know when you guys first saw this, if you got to see this, you know, four years ago. What were your thoughts? If you're a patron and you got to see it first, what were your thoughts? How do you think this compares to the final version? Obviously, this one's not professionally recorded or anything like that, but would you not kill for this to be professionally recorded acoustically? I am putting it into the fucking atmosphere, you guys. (laughs) I need an acoustic album. Like, you know what I mean? Just random, the best of acoustic. That would be sick. Can we also talk about how I manifested that I wanted Pepsi Center audio on a vinyl and it actually happened? You guys, I'm going to be manifesting all the warning things now because they are coming out with an exclusive error vinyl, which is nuts for, I think it's like Black Friday record store day something something. I'll put some information in the description. And there are a couple Pepsi Center songs on there. When I saw that, I got so excited. And then I realized, oh no, this might just be for America. Nope. It's coming to Canada. I called my local record store. I said, will you be ordering this vinyl? And they said, yes. And I was like, wicked. I will be there to pick one up. Hopefully I can do it. My husband did offer to go super early and line up for me since he has the day off that day because it's on a Friday. Um, We'll see if he ends up doing it because we all know Conrad loves to sleep in. (laughs) But I really hope I get a chance to own one and I know you can only buy one. I just think it's such a special vinyl to have some of those Pepsi Center songs on there. And who knows, this may be the only Pepsi Center songs we get on a vinyl and I don't care. I need to own it. I need to own it. Okay. I hope my vlog is up for you guys. If not, you'll see it soon. Um, My vinyl of the day is Linkin Park. I found this at a random toy store when I was with my daughter buying her a toy and they had vinyls at Toys R Us which is crazy and this is one more light I'm trying my best to own every Linkin Park vinyl that's the goal and to be fair like this is not my favorite Linkin Park album but they do have some amazing songs on here like One More Light, Battle Symphony it's just so good so good and heavy I really like the song heavy I was really hoping that they would have chosen me to sing that song with them but you know Maybe next time. (laughs) Well, no, because now they have Emily. (laughs) It's all good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Oh my God, I can't wait to share all my Pomona information for you guys. If you've already seen it, wicked. If you haven't, it's coming. And I'll see you next Wednesday.